Hey, what's up guys, Lumina Zeal here. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a zero risk strategy to making a ton of gold. In just under an hour, I was able to make over 7,500 gold. All right, and just real quick, I noticed that only 9.6% of you guys that are watching are subscribed. I'm working towards 2,000 subscribers, so if you like my content, please consider subscribing. I'll just quickly explain the strategy and go over some general tips. All right, so the basics of the strategy is we're just gonna be using Squire gear, so we get into the under 24 lobbies. And then we're only targeting killing the cave troll to get some of the big loot items like troll pelts, troll's blood, and some other good purples that might drop. All right, so a couple things that make this strategy so good. Even if Dobby Caves isn't on solos, so it's duos or trios, you can still just queue up by yourself, go in, kill the cave troll as fast as possible, and then just hide for the rest of the match or get out as quickly as possible. In most of the clips here, I wasn't even running solos. And I was still able to get out. Just have to try and play friendly. Most people early wipe don't want to fight each other. And if you just act like a noob, people will usually let you go. Now, sometimes you are going to have to fight people that are coming after you. Um, now, if you're not in solos, then I, you know, just suggest running away. That's why I'm running Phantomize. I just take off all my clothes, Phantomize away, run as, away as fast as possible. And usually I was able to get away. Actually, through this whole hour, I didn't even die to another player once. If you have the Lycan or the Lizard Man skin... I recommend using those. I've been liking the Lycan. Four Vigor plus Headshot Damage Reduction is really, really good. Gives you that extra health and survivability. And for these under 24 gear lobbies, it's probably just the best way to go. Now, I think Fighter or Warlock are your two best options because you have access to the Longsword. If you can learn to parry the Cave Troll, it's going to make killing it so fast. Now, this isn't a guide to how to kill the uh, Cave Troll and parry him. Maybe I'll put that out next video, but I'll try to show at least one full fight. And if you play that back, you can probably learn what I'm doing. And with Fighter and Warlock, you have Phantomize or Sprint, so you can get away from people really fast. Second Wind is going to help you uh, survive. Blow of Corruption is good for damage and stopping the trolls uh, healing. And Shadow Touch is going to keep you healthy. So you think either one of those paired with the Longsword, just killing it super fast, is just the best way to go. Now, you don't have to use the Fighter or the Warlock to parry the Cave Troll. I just recommend it because it's the fastest. But if you have some other way to kill it, like using the Bard or Rogue or however you kill it, if you're comfortable with that, then that should work just fine too. You just might not be able to get as much gold per hour. All right, so also, you're going to see me in these clips. If I don't find a troll pelt or a good item to stick around for, I'm immediately leaving the game. It's not going to time you out, and you can just immediately get into another game. So there's no point around, no point in like killing yourself or waiting around uh, to get out of the match. Because we're risking nothing, it doesn't matter if you leave. So that's the whole strategy. Get into a game. Doesn't matter if it's solos, duos, or trios. Get into the Gobby Caves, under 24 lobby, sprint to the cave troll as fast as you can, kill it as fast as you can, see if you have a good item. If you do, either hide or get out towards the uh, the middle. The conveyor belt's going to come down before anything else. Try to get us out as fast as possible to increase your gold per minute. And if you don't find anything, you just leave the match and go into the next game. In case you're curious, I'm running Shadow Touch, Dark Reflect, Soul Collector, and Anti-Magic with Blow Corruption and Phantomize. All right, now I'll put timestamps below for all the games, and I'll pick one of the games and show you the full Cave Troll fight so you can try to learn it. Otherwise, if this video gets enough support and I see enough comments asking for a guide, I'll create a Cave Troll parry guide for my next video. Anyways, I hope this helps you guys out. Let's jump into the video. All right, quick and easy. Let's pop a potion in case anybody pushes us. Take a look. Troll Pelt first game. Let's go, dude. Let's get out of here. Let's go, boys. All right, this corner's gonna be my pile for the hour. All right, let's pop that POC. Crouch up. Yeah, I missed that. Kind of got this Commander's character model, but since he stood still right there, I can get a jumping headshot. Get two hits here. Okay, just one now. And we back up. And crouch look up. Go to his left side. Get some good parries here. That was pretty close. <laughs> crouch and just look up. Now I miss again. What? How did that miss? Nice, so it's still there. Can get an extra parry headshot. Somebody else is here. Well, hang on, brother. No, brother. I'm so 
sorry, brother. You must die. Yes, I'm sorry for you too, brother. We out. Game number two, another troll spell. That's honestly super lucky. Holy. Let's go, baby. Two for two? Can we make it three for three? <laughs> no, I don't think I'm that lucky. Let's go. Making the money moves. Come on, three for three. No, Troll's Blood, though. Um, I say Troll's Blood is good enough to go for center. Let's go center. Let's take it off the tool belt. We shall try. We shall try. Some knowledge boots. Not too bad, actually. Shit, had the movement speed, but the rolls aren't bad for him. Actually, name bonus will... Yeah, not bad at all. Hello, I'm friendly. I don't want to fight you. Oh shit, you want to fight me? I got you. <laughs> bye bye. Hey, I got trolls one though. Hey, right, down out with trolls blood. Yes, but <laughs> gonna tally up how much all this stuff is worth at the end. <sighs> this is not worth it. We'll leave this stuff here for somebody else. To the lobby. <sighs> Troll pelt, baby, let's go. Now we just chill up here. Wait, wait. Third troll pelt. Holy <laughs> dude. We're at, uh, right at 30 minutes. 30 minutes, 30 seconds. These aren't anything special. I'd probably just sell these to the vendor. But, uh, yeah, man. Holy. Three troll pelts on troll's blood is insane. We're out. We're out. Let's go, dude. So quick. No risk. And so much gold, baby. Let's go. All right, guys. Third troll's belt. Let's fucking go, dude. Let's go. Okay, nothing here. Still lobby. Sorry, brother. Not have any witnesses here. No, this is dope. <laughs> this is duos, but like I was by himself, and he was obviously going for cave troll. Cannot leave him around, unfortunately. <sighs> That's pretty good. I just don't think it's worth it. 
Back to lobby. So quick, holy. <laughs> that was so quick. Not what we're looking for, though. Additional physical damage, fist power. I don't think it's worth it. These guys aren't very good, though. Okay, I got away from this guy. All that for nothing. It's pretty good. Ooh, that's not bad at all. All right, so not a troll pelt, but something. Uh, let's put this stuff over here. All right, guys, so at the end of the hour, we ended up with three Trolls Pelts, one Trolls Blood, and some, you know, purples that are decent enough to want to keep me in the game. Um, probably could have made, maybe, potentially made one more Troll Pelt if we had just, you know, left those games, but I feel like a Purple Phoenix Choker is kind of worth staying in. Same with the Trolls Blood. Alright, so currently each troll pelt is worth a little over 2,000 gold. Let's say 2150. So with three of them, that's 6,450 gold. The troll blood is worth 400. The choker, let's say, is worth 500 gold. The low boots with two will and magic damage bonus. Let's just put a low number. Let's say it's worth 200. And the mystic gloves with true fizz, let's say 250 gold. Alright, so for everything here that we got, that comes out to 7,800 gold in just under an hour. And when we risk nothing like that, and we can just go in and out of games super quickly because we killed the cave troll fast, and get out if we don't get the pelt or something good, I mean, you can make a ton of money. However, for now, I think I'm going to keep the troll pelts because they're going to go up in price a lot. Right now, they're only worth 2000 but uh, in the future, they're probably going to go up to about 5000 when crafting comes out. That's how much it was last season anyway. Maybe they'll go even higher because of arena. 
All right, but anyways, I hope this guide helps you. If it did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.